Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I got this really cute hairstyle using crochet hair, but I did not crochet this hair. So let's get on straight to this passion twist video. So as you can see, I am using the rubber band method and I'm just showing you the way I parted my hair. Um, I think what is easier for me is if I, you know, put the rubber bands in first, you know, do all that stuff, the hard stuff first before I twist the hair into my own hair. Um, this way, you know, I don't get frustrated, you know, parting and then adding the hair and parting and then adding the hair. I just do everything in steps. So I will be listing everything that I'm using in the description box. I will also leave a link for the hair. I did purchase this here on Amazon. And it's my second time buying from this hair vendor and the braiding hair is actually like really good braiding hair, very soft and a very good quality. So everything will be in the description box if you're interested. So now that I think that I have a straight enough section, I'm going to use the edge booster and this is just to see my edges and to kind of make the parting look a little bit more accurate you would see what I mean. I'm just going to brush that onto my hair using the edge brush. Alright guys, so obviously this is a few hours later. I just left the remaining two twists so I can show you guys because I didn't want to bore you. So this is the hair that I'm using. Like I said, it's very beautiful hair and it comes just like that, the way I'm just pulling it off. That's exactly how it comes. And I'm using two pieces of the hair and I'm just kind of intertwining them just to make one uh, twist. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my hair as the third piece of hair and I'm just, I'm just going to start braiding my hair and the crochet hair together. And when I start off, I make sure it's tight so that this is going to be secure because we aren't continually braiding down. Remember we're making passion twists not braid so the root the tighter the root the better the twist is going to hold and then you would see where i end the braid so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take my hair and i'm going to wrap it around 
one of the crochet hair and that is just gonna secure it and then I'm going to start twisting and I'm gonna use some jam the extra hole jam and that's just gonna give it some added uh, hold just to hold my hair in place and I just twist and when I'm twisting I'm making sure that it's tight until I get you know down to the very end um, I don't do it as tight because the style that I'm going for is I wanted it a little bit looser towards the end so that is why I'm using the Shea Moisture Curl Stretch Pudding instead of the jam on the very end of my hair because I want it to be you know moisturize obviously but I want it to be a little bit looser you can also use probably like mousse or something for this part Now for the final twist, I'm going to show you a different technique on how to blend your own hair with the crochet hair. So I'm basically doing the same thing, intertwining the hair and I'm doing the same way that I started the, the previous twist which is braiding the crochet hair with my hair. This time when I'm getting ready to twist my hair, I'm just going to take my hair and I'm going to split it into two, just like that. And I'm going to divide it into each crochet hair and I'm going to make the twist and I'm going to use the jam to basically hold it. Hope that makes sense. I think I prefer this method better, but both of them work. This one you just have to keep practicing to do it, but I think this is the better method to do the twist and it holds it better. Alright guys, so this is simply how I do my twist. They took about two, two and a half hours to do, not long at all. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was super helpful to you. Like I said, everything would be in the description box below. And let me know if you're going to try this hairstyle. And follow me on Instagram at DenishaB underscore. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.